How to make a good KBR pellet, a step-by-step -step recipe from Specac. To make a good KBR pellet you will need a 13mm die, dry KBR, mortar and pestle, spatula, balance and of course the infrared instrument to use for analysis. Preparation of KBR powder. Grind the KBR to a very fine powder using a mortar and pestle. Dry the powder in an oven at 105 to 110 C for 24 hours. To prepare sample, a measured amount of sample half a percent 2% typical is added to the KBR. The mixture is mixed well not ground to have a homogeneous mixture of the sample and the matrix. About the die, the 13mm die is the most common die. First, insert the bottom stainless steel pellet shiny side up. Then, add the sample to the die. Next, add the top stainless steel pellet shiny side down. Finally, insert the plunger. To press the pellet, the die is placed into a manual hydraulic press. The lead screw is brought down into contact with the plunger. A vacuum pump is attached to the evacuation port on the die and pumped for 1 to 5 minutes. The press is then pumped up to 5 tons of pressure gauge and wait 1 to 3 minutes. To eject the pellet, the pressure is released from the die. Place the die upside down with the extractor ring on top. Pump the press to eject the pellet. Finally, the extracted KBR pellet is mounted in card and is ready for FTIR analysis. On the screen are Specax products that are used in this sample preparation method. You can find them by the SKU number or by name on specac.com. Thank you for watching our video. You can visit our website at specac.com for more information.